How to make your tab key better on the Mac. Have you ever tried to tab to a button and couldn't on OS X? Like this. So I'm in this uh, save dialog box and I'm hitting the tab button right now and notice that I'm only tabbing between save as and the tags field. I can't tab down to the delete button. I can't tab down to the cancel button or the save button. I can't hold shift and tab to go in reverse mode. Uh, so I'm basically just stuck between those two fields, which doesn't really help me a lot. So what I want to do, I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue and how you can actually tab between all the fields here to make it super easy to control uh, dialog boxes like this with your keyboard. So first of all, we're just going to head over to System Preferences. And once we're in System Preferences, just load up the keyboard section, go to Shortcuts, and then down here at the bottom, you'll see an option for full keyboard access. And it says, in Windows and Dialogs, press Tab to move keyboard focus between text boxes and list only or all controls. So this is what you need. You need all controls. You can also toggle that to change that setting. You hold control plus F7. So if I hold control and then hit F7, notice I can toggle between those just like that. Uh, so either way you can go into system preferences or you can hold control and hit F7. It's up to you. But now I've set it to all controls. So I'm going to go out of here and now I'm going to just tap. Watch what happens. See that? I'm tabbing between all the buttons there, delete, cancel, save. So it makes it much easier to control this dialog box with my keyboard. And I can, of course, hold the shift key and hit tab and go in reverse mode like this. So that is how you do it, folks. You can either use control and then F7 to enable or disable the all controls function. And, uh, or you can go to system preferences and go to the keyboard section and go into shortcuts and then enable it there. But this is something that I definitely recommend you do, especially if you come in from Windows, it makes it so much easier to tab through all the options available on these dialog boxes. So folks, let me know how you control your Mac. Do you use this option or not? Sound off down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.